Hi students, it's Ms. Bully here. Today I'm going to be sharing with you some different examples of Indigenous artists in Canada. Let's get going! So this is a slideshow with different Indigenous artists and there's also questions that I would like you to think about and possibly talk about with someone uh, that's at home with you. Our first art piece is this one right here. So I'd like you to look at it and think about what you notice, describe what you're seeing, try to piece together a story that might be taking place, and from that story, see if you can find any evidence or clues about why you think that story is taking place or why you came up with that story. What was it in the picture that was giving you that hint? When I look at this art piece, I notice that there are some bright colors used and some are more muted. What about you? I'm noticing that there is a dark outline around a lot of the forms. And I'm also noticing that there are people in this painting. It seems like there's an adult and a baby or a child. I'll let you continue describing what you see and seeing if you can come up with a story that's taking place in this painting. This painting is by the artist named Norval Moriso. He's often called the grandfather of Indigenous Canadian art because he inspired a lot of younger Indigenous artists to paint in a similar style to his. When he was working, it was a time where Indigenous people were still going to residential schools and he actually attended one of these schools himself. In this picture, you can see Norval Morisot in the back and there's his wife and two daughters in this photograph. So let's go back to this painting. So this is the title of the painting. It's Artist, Wife and Daughter and it was painted in 1975. So this is a painting of Norval's wife and daughter. So the two people we see in here are a mom and a child. And he painted this early in his career as an artist. And he did this along with a separate self-portrait of himself. Why do you think that he didn't paint himself into this painting? It's just something to think about. Let's look at that self-portrait. So here is Norval Morisot's 1975 self-portrait. When I look at these two paintings, I see a lot of similarities. How about you? Let's put them both side by side and see and think about what kind of similarities that we see between these two paintings. So on the left, we have Norval Morisot's self-portrait. And on the right, we have Norval Morisot's wife and daughter. I hope that those images gave you a little bit of an introduction to Norval Morisot's artwork and got you thinking about the different things that art can communicate with us. Next week we're going to have some more other Indigenous artists and we'll have similar question prompts to think about and talk about. See you later!